It's been a while since I've done one of these. Hype for Smash kind of took over, and the only thing Zelda related I could think of is how shredded Ganondorf looks in that game. So I thought today we'll ease ourselves back into Hyrule Highlights, the series where I go over one cool glitch, bug, theory, feature, or whatever I want in a Zelda game, and show it to you guys. Today we're getting the Boy Without a Fairy a few extra of the little sprites in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask with some secret fairies. Alright, so the first way to get yourself some secret fairies in Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask is to perform a little transfiguration on a butterfly, and turn one into a fairy. Like so. One, two, three. Ferraverto. And just like in Harry Potter, to do this you'll need a wand, so a deco stick will work in this case. By slowly walking up to a group of butterflies while holding a deku stick, you can then lead one butterfly away and it'll transform into a fairy. Aside from being a cool little feature, this could actually be a Super Mario 64 reference. In that game, punching the butterflies you can find in a few locations will cause a 1-up to spawn, or occasionally, like on Tiny Huge Island, a giant exploding death ball. Weird. I personally couldn't get the 1-up butterfly trick to work for me, maybe because I was playing on the virtual console, maybe I just suck but here's some footage I found on YouTube of it working. Either way, this butterfly metamorphosis is a really cool trick in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. The next way to net yourself some secret fairies in these N64 classics is to find rare big fairies. These are a little easier to find. In certain spots for seemingly no reason, Navi will turn green. At these spots, if you play the ocarina, usually the Song of Storms or the Sun Song, a big wingless fairy will appear. These can't be caught in bottles, and they heal 8 hearts and fully fill your magic meter. I'm not sure if this method is possible in Majora's Mask, I couldn't find any of the green spots personally, let me know in the comments if it actually is. In both games though you can find these big fairies also by playing the Song of Storms at a Gossip Stone. While most other major songs like the Song of Healing or Zelda's Lullaby just cause a regular fairy to spawn. In Majora's Mask, these big fairies now have wings and heal a massive 18 hearts. So that's a couple of secret fairies in the N64 Zeldas. Did you know about them? Do you have any other suggestions for Hyrule highlights? Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave a like on it, it really helps the channel out, and subscribe if you want more Zelda content. Cheers guys, and I'll see you next time.